Well, Maud and Mildred, now you're in your third year at Cackles, it's time to be thinking of what lies ahead. Not just your higher witch certificate, but what you're going to be doing with your lives when you finally leave here. Assuming you stay the course. Sooner or later, you're going to have to support yourselves in the world outside. Somehow. As you probably know, to help girls prepare for their future careers, we like to send you on a little work experience, doing some sort of job for a while at a local firm or business to give you a taste of what things are like beyond the academy walls. As it happens, dear Mrs. Cosy is in need of help in her tea rooms. She's there on her own, poor thing, and she's finding it a bit much. So I thought it would be an excellent idea if you two were to go and give her a hand this weekend. Doing what, Miss Cackle? Waitressing, washing up, the usual things. Does that mean we won't be able to do Miss Jill's assault course training? Yes. Is that all right with you? Yes. If that's what you want, Miss Cackle. Good. You're to report to the cafe at nine in the morning. Sharp. Time is money in the world of commerce. You're to treat this as a proper job. We'll be asking Mrs. Cosy for a report on how you've done. And it goes without saying that we expect a positive attitude. We don't want to hear of any shirking or lazing about. And we don't want to hear that you've been using magic to cut corners. Understand? Yes, Miss Harper. All right. Run along. Good luck. Enjoy it. I hope we're doing the right thing here. Miss Cackle, I've had a thought. Come on, Millie, we'll be late. I'm nervous, Maud. I'm bound to do something wrong. Like drop some plates or spill something in someone's lap. It's got to be better than swinging over rivers or climbing rope nets with the others. Hmm, I suppose you're right. Oh, we've got company. It's a bit early for you, isn't it, Mildred? What are you two doing here? Going to Mrs. Cosy's, of course. Work experience, same as you. Miss Cackle didn't say anything about that, didn't she? Probably slipped her mind. Miss Harper persuaded her she couldn't possibly let you two out on your own. No, you probably give all the customers food poisoning. So we've been sent along to make sure things don't get out of control. Talking of which, time we were there. Yes, yeah, stop dawdling, Skyvers. Nice to know we're trusted. Mm. Oh, my dears! My four young witches! Thank goodness you're here. What's happened to you, Mrs. Cozy? These just appeared yesterday. What is it? Well, I don't know, but it, it itches like mad. I'm going to the doctors about it. You mean you're leaving us in charge? Well, I'm sure you'd be able to manage us for an hour or so. Miss Cackle says you're very grown-up girls these days. But what do we have to do? Well, there's nothing much to it, really. Basically, it's all just common sense. I've written out a list of instructions for you. We don't open until ten, and I should be back before it gets really busy. Would you like someone to go with you, Mrs Cosy? Oh, no, no, it's very kind of you, dear, but I'd be all right. I'm afraid it's a bit of a mess everywhere. There were a lot of people in yesterday, and because of this, I didn't want to touch anything, you know. <laughs> Germs. There are a few pots and pans to be done, and the tables need a bit of clearing, and we could do with a few more cakes being baked. I've left the recipes out. Could you make a start on that, do you think? Don't worry, Mrs Cosy. We'll organise things. You won't recognise the place when you get back. Oh, it's very kind of you. Thank goodness you've come today. I'll be as quick as I can. Bye-bye. Well, she did say there was a bit of a mess. It's a disaster area. I hate to think what the kitchen's like. Well, it's no good moaning. We'll just have to get our sleeves rolled up. Won't we? Sleeves rolled up. I don't think Ethel knows where her sleeves are. No. She's never done a hard day's work in her life. None of the Hallows have. They don't know the meaning of getting your hands dirty. How's it going? Oh, I see. Not very well. Have you seen how much there is? 
could always help, you know. Huh. Yes, many hands make light work, and too many cooks spoil the broth, Maud. No, you and Minnie are getting on fine in here. There's an awful lot of clean to do in the cafe itself. I thought Drusilla was doing that. Yeah, you're just wandering around bossing us about. I'm only making sure all the jobs get done. Someone's got to organise, or we get in each other's way. And it has to be you, Ethel. Oh, yes, of course. Who else would it be? Ah, oh, that's better. Yes, at least he'll be able to sit without having to look at yesterday's leftovers. Ethel, what's the matter? This place could really do with livening up. It's so dingy. Look at the furniture, these curtains. It's like something out of a Victorian museum. And the menu, cream teas, jam scones, sponge cake. It's so quaint and old-fashioned and fattening. Maybe the sort of thing your grandma would like, but not the modern diner who's used to fresh pasta and crunchy salads. This place could make a fortune if it had a bit of style. OK, say you had loads of money, what do you do to it? Well, for a start, I'd... All the food would be French and Italian. Then I'd do a bit of... And then I'd give it a bit of... And of course we'd have to... Wow, cool. Ethel, we need a chap. What have you done? Do you like it? It's my new concept for cosies. Only it needs a change of name. How about... Le Sorciere? Ethel, you must be mad. Turn it back. Oh, she's only playing. Come on, wouldn't you rather be wearing? Ethel, don't be stupid. Yes, if Mrs. Cosy walks in, then... Hello. Are you open? That's it. Don't be afraid. Put plenty on. You need to be well camouflaged to survive in the wild. Anyone think you're spending weeks in the jungle, not three quarters now in the local woods? All right, good. That should be enough. We'll jog down to the assault course in a crocodile. Here we go. Yes, another perfect start to the weekend. Right, turn. And off we go. Well, it's all the third year's gone. It's a relatively quiet morning, Constance. I thought we'd be visiting Mrs. Cosy's to check on you-know-who. This morning, isn't that a little early? Girls have only just got into the swing of things. If there are any problems, Miss Cackle, and I think we can say with some confidence that there will be, it would be good to know as soon as possible. Well, we don't want to intimidate them. The two of us turning up could make them very nervous. Really? Well, so much the better, as far as I'm concerned. Putting the girls under pressure. Isn't that what work experience is all about? Well, anyway, we'd only be dropping in for mid-morning tea. And perhaps a piece of cheesecake. OK, so that's four cappuccinos, three café latte, five butter croissant, one pan au chocolat and one crepe Suzette. Yes. OK, I'll just check we've got all that. Yes. What do we do? Get in the kitchen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll get your orders to you as soon as we can. Excuse me. Uh, the guidebooks say Cozy's Cafe serve an old English cream of cake. Oh, yes. Well... But this is OK. Very stylish. Very smart, though. Thank you. Ethel, excuse me. What's the matter? We can't serve them. For goodness sake, Ethel, get rid of them. Mrs. Cozy could be back at any time. I know you said she wouldn't recognise the place, but we can't leave it like that, can we? And we can't change it back with them sitting there. It'll cause mass panic. So what do we do? We can't throw customers out, can we? Not very good business. Business? It's all you can think about. Invent an emergency. Say there's a fire. No, they'll want to be helpful and call the fire brigade. What are we going to do about this order? We haven't got any of this stuff. We'll just have to rustle it up. How? We don't have the recipes. We don't have the ingredients. How do you think? Give me that. Ethel. No magic. HB said. What choice do we have? Ex papyrus. Mm. Ethel, you can't do that. You're a cuisinus. Convertus. Bags of 
of time, bags of time. We couldn't pass this way without sampling the old-fashioned delights of Mrs. Cozy's tea rooms. I don't suppose either of you have had the pleasure of Mrs. Cozy's hospitality, have you? Well, no, sir, but... Then I can promise you, young men, you're in for a very special treat. What's happened here? No! no please! Please! Don't do it! I recognize that voice. This is ridiculous. So do I. Heaven's sake! <laughs> Haven't you ever seen a wizard before? I'm right. It's hellable. It's buzzing gas. So sorry. So sorry. I swear it. I swear it could have said. I should think so. Pointing those newfangled contraptions at me. What's Mrs. Cozy done to the place? It looks ghastly. And it's a bit crowded in here. No. Oh, well, um, find somewhere over there. Like a waiting lounge at an airport. Right. Get this food on the tables. Now! No! Look where you're going, girl. That's... Yes, it is, isn't it? Hmm. Nice skirt. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'll get some more. Go on, then. What? Clean it up. Ethel! Go on. Mildred? Hello. What are you doing here? Mildred. Mildred Hubble. The girl from Cackles. She was terrible. How nice to see you again. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing here? Just a bit of work experience. I see. Where's Mrs. Cozy? She's at the doctor's. She's come out in little red spots. Oh, dear. Still, I can't say I'm surprised. Working in this environment would be enough to make anyone ill. Yes, um, there's been a bit of a change around. So I notice. I'd say Mrs. Cozy's been reading too many magazines. Cool. Nice one. For goodness sake! It's all foreign! I want a cream tea. A traditional English cream tea, like Mrs. Cozy used to do. haven't we? Yes, but isn't it a bit mean? Millie and Maud won't mind. Come on, let's get Enid. Enid! Enid! Ah! <laughs> Enid, there's always someone! <laughs> you should concentrate! Come on, over here! <laughs> Come on. Now's our chance. We might be able to catch some cream cake. Well done, good girl. Cream cake's not on the menu. It was ten minutes ago. Well, it's not now. And if we produce one for Hellebore, everyone else will want one. It's what those Japanese people came in for. Well? What do you mean, well? Tell him he can only order what's on the menu. Ethel, have you gone mad? What's Mrs Cozy going to say? I thought of that. We tell her it's an essential part of our work experience project. You know how we have to write this essay on how we'd improve the business we were in? Well, we could tell Mrs. Cozy that we had to put those ideas into practice. A continental patisserie instead of an oldie-worldie cake shop. And you really think she's going to fall for that? 
You've done some things, Ethel, but this really takes a biscuit. Croissant, Maud. Croissants. <sighs> but what are we going to do about Hellebore? Millie, where are you? I don't believe it. Hey, hi, Millie. What are you two doing here? Well, it wasn't my idea. Ruby twisted my arm. How's it going, anyway? Oh, don't ask. Oh, sorry. It's all different. Yes. I like the outfits. Baz and Gaz here. Where? Shall you know? Ruby, wait. <laughs> Chief was at Hellebore. Hiya. Hello. <laughs> Surely this can't get any worse. Hello! Ruby! Ruby! Who's in the gym? Oh, dear. Has she got a problem? I don't know, but I think we should find out. Hello, Miss Peel. Is something the matter? Two girls have gone missing, I'm afraid. Which ones? Ruby Cherry Tree and Jadu Wally. Hmm. Well, that's par for the course. Where were they last seen? Right here. The route is perfectly easy to follow. I can't see how they could have got lost. Enid, can you shed any light on this? I'm not exactly... Uh, oh. Have you considered the possibility that they might have sneaked off? I don't suppose they were the keenest pupils out here this morning, were they? No, Miss Harbrum, you could say that. But where would they have gone? There's not a lot round here, is there? Only the very place we're heading to. Isn't it reasonable to assume that the combination of friends and scrumptious cakes might have proved too much of a temptation? I see what you mean. So, oh. Miss Drill, I think you should take Enid back before she catches her death of cold. Very well, Miss Cackle. Leave the missing two to us. Come along, Constance. But Hellebore doesn't want a French pancake with nuts and chocolate sauce. He might like it. Ethel, he ordered a cream tea. Is that everything? I think so. Right, you go on. I'll bring the rest. Well, they're getting served. You two. Grail Quest, Dragon's Bane. Go and find out when I'm getting mine. All right, all right. Have it your way. I'll change it back since you're all so unadventurous. Reversus, Revolvus, Returnus, Resolvus. Hellebore wants to know about his cream tea. Baz, there's nothing like cream tea in here. There was. She was just going to turn the slot back into cakes. Oh, I see. Stand aside. Let the experts deal with it. Yes, uh, you do know the cream cake reversal spell, don't you? Hmm? Yes, yes, I suppose I do. Good. Ready? Reversus, revolvus, returnus, resolvus, patisserie, pastry, in jelly convulsus! What's this? Is this some sort of joke? Now look what you've done. Wasn't my fault, was it? Who started all this? You spoil everything. Me? If you weren't so big-headed, stooping to insults now, are we? Well, two can play at that. Thanks very much. Guess sorry I didn't realise. Oh, very funny, Ethel. <gasps> oh, Baz, I'm sorry. You stupid girl. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? 
Oh my God! This is cozy. Oh, this is dreadful, girls. I thought you told me it was all right to leave you in charge. Ethel. Yes. Well, Mildred. It wasn't Mildred. It was you. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Is that you, Mr. Hellebon? I'm afraid so, Mrs. Cozy. Well, I, uh, Mrs. Cozy? So it is you who runs this place? Uh, normally, yes. Well, allow me to register a serious complaint, please. Oh. We have been treated terribly by just a girl. Uh. I'm so sorry. Um, please, have a seat, Mr. Hellebon. Uh, boys. Oh, Mrs. Cozy. This is crazy. See the trouble you've caused now? We've got to stop it. How? Oh, this is impossible. What if we cast some sort of massive reversal spell? Maybe if all of us cast the spell at once. What if HB found out? Well, we can't leave things the way they are. And our work experience reports are going to be useless anyway. OK, you're right. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Reversus, Revolvus, Returnus, Resolvus, Ex Alpha and Omega, Omnis and Solvus! I think it might have something to do with these young ladies here. Are you all right now, Mrs. Cozy? Much, much better, thank you, Mildred. Oh, my goodness, Mrs. Cozy, your tea rooms are very popular today. Miss Cackle and Miss Hardbroom, how lovely to see you both. I'm all right, Mrs. Cozy. Oh, yes, yes. Couldn't be better. And the girls, have they been working hard? They were particularly helpful just before you came in, especially Mildred and her friends. Friends? Ah, oh, yes. Friends. Ruby and Jadu. Could you step outside, please? I have a bone to pick with you. I knew we shouldn't have come here. Chief Wizard, Your Honor, what are you doing here? To be honest, Miss Cackle, having a rather eventful time, I just dropped by with these two lads, and no sooner had I stepped through the door... Why don't we all sit down and have a nice cup of tea? Green tea, if you like, Mr. Hellebore, your favourite. Oh, bliss, bliss. And cheesecake for you, Miss Kaka. On the house <laughs> with Mrs. Cozy's compliments. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> now, I know there are a lot of you, but with my really new work team, we'll have you served in no time. And with the nicest smile. <laughs>